Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, experience support for confident business makers. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is Zach Manning. Zach is the Senior Vice President of Revenue at Fispan. He is a seasoned sales leader in the financial technology industry with a holistic approach guiding sales, marketing, and business development, as well as the solutions team. Having worked at companies like HyperWallet and SAP before Fispan, Zach has built expertise in developing and executing go-to-market strategies that involve complex distribution channels. His focus on customer success and his ability to build high-performing teams has been instrumental in driving Fispan's growth and expanding the company's presence in the market to serve not only banks, but ERP and consulting partners alike. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, Zach Manning. Awesome, Ed. Thank you so much for having me today. Happy Monday, my friend. Well, tell me first off, Zach, why do you do what you do? Um, You know, if I narrow that down, why do I do what I do? Um, Specifically in my world, why am I in technology sales? Um, And if I break that down, you know, why the heck am I in sales? And for me, it always started with the people. Ever since I was a really young kid, I always liked going to events and specifically actually events with my parents where there was a bunch of adults in the room. Um, and I always tell the story that my dad had this rule that when we would go to an adult event, I would actually have to let go of his hand and I couldn't find him again until I had met three people um, and learned about them and what they did. And then I could come back to my dad and report you know, hey, I met these three people and here's what they did. Um, it wasn't until later in high school I found out that's just so he could go for a smoke break at the beginning of these parties. But for me, it grew into kind of a lifelong interest in people. Um, every time walking into a room to understand like, hey, Ed, what are you doing? Like, what do you do on a regular basis? What do you do for fun? Um, and of course, when you take that into the career world, asking questions, discovering elements of people, qualifying what they like to do are really the core components of sales. And so really I found as I grew up and went into very various different jobs, the element of salesmanship as a mindset really grew within myself. Um, And then I aligned that with an interest in technology. And so when I looked at, okay, if I'm going to be a salesman, um, how do I apply that to the market? And there was two founding principles I always lean on. One is I want to make sure it's adding value to people, that I'm actually bringing something that people enjoy using. Um, And the other piece is that it's mission critical. I want to make sure that when I'm selling something that the person that's purchasing it not only says, oh, I absolutely know that I want this, it's going to add value, but in dire straits or on a daily you know, element of their life, this is a mission critical component of what I'm using. And so bringing those two together um, creates a technology sales, a highly complex technology sales environment. And that's where I found myself here for well over a decade. Talk to me a little bit about how you feel that technology can actually help people make their lives better. Yeah. And so um, a lot of people are used to their lives being better with an iPhone in their hand. Everything is now accessible at the tip of your fingers. Um, For me, I've always taken that into more of a business technology mindset. So when we think about your job and the ability to use technology for clearer audio, faster editing, things like that, that allow your job to be better. um, In the five span context, we really take that into the finance world. So we look at daily activities that a business has to uh, complete such as paying vendors. So if I'm a business and I'm using a nice mom and pop shop for a design or maybe to fill up my office with some uh, you know, furniture, I want to make sure that that individual is being paid not only on time, but accurately because I want to be able to go back to that vendor and use them again. And so in our context, we're always looking for ways to streamline financial transactions or streamline financial tasks that are within a business and remove remove mundane paperwork activities or even ones that get bogged down, as many of us know in Excel, where we spend hours and hours, you know, pulling the numbers together and slicing and dicing and spitting them out. Um, how do we actually look to technology to create workflows and automations that remove that repetitive task and allow that human to actually be able to do more. Um, so you could argue maybe at one day that AI would allow you to free up and, and spend more time worrying about the content and the people you're engaging and less time on editing. In the finance world, we want people focusing less on the actual payables activity and reconciliation activity and more on, okay, well, if I'm able to save money or actually generate more revenue, what can I do with that as a business? And so always taking that mundane task, replacing it with technology so that they can focus on a more strategic task and ultimately do their their job better. Um, And at the end of the day, if they're doing their job better and they're growing within their career, ideally they can leave work at work and they can go home and enjoy their personal and family life with a little bit more time and a little bit more relaxation. 
Can you give me an example that you have of, mm-hmm. of where, where you guys you feel that you've helped somebody make their life better with your technology, say, in the last uh, you know, three months or so? Absolutely. So um, I'll give you two examples. So one, if, if I'm a business, um, if I'm Flyspan and I have the ability, and I have multiple banking relationships, um, I run my business inside of an ERP system, an enterprise resource planning system. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to connect those two, it sounds obvious. Oh, my ERP should talk with my bank. Those are two core components of a business. The reality is those are two fundamentally different infrastructures, languages, principles, and they've never been built to talk to each other. If I wanted to stand up a connection, it would require me to go to a consultant partner and spend tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, and actually use my own IT resources, which adds an additional cost of my resources internally over multiple months. So what that all equals is a massive costly project. What FISPAN has been able to do is make that an activation process. We basically let you key in a little bit of data, accept the terms, and now there's a live connection between your bank and your business. That reduces a massive overhead of cost for the business, not only up front, but from an ongoing maintenance perspective. Um, and now what it actually helps the bank do is realize the ability to service that business faster. So that same nine-month timeline that business would take to integrate is the same nine-month timeline that the bank would not be able to offer those services to the business until they were up and running. So in that scenario, we're actually benefiting both parties respectively and also so collectively. Um, if you take that down to the individual human aspect, um, what happens is my brother-in-law is an auditor. And from a finance perspective, we often do a lot of things in Excel and we decide to go, oh, that's okay. We'll just get another body to do more Excel, another body to do more Excel. And what ends up doing is you have a larger human resource cost and you also have people that probably get a little bit less happy doing mundane tasks. And so what we've been able to do is take a lot of those tasks that they would do in Excel and automate them through the integration between the bank and the business. And so that individual that might have spent as we've learned, you know, up to two days uh, in a week in Excel is now down to a couple of hours because the actual platform itself will do a lot of those tasks for them. And so they can take the outputs now and rather than doing a whole bunch of Excel calculations, can go to their boss and say, hey, you know, we've realized an extra 10 hours a week from our resources. I'd like to do this strategic project to understand how we can either uncover more revenue or reduce more cost for the business and ultimately optimizing their ability to, you know, provide value to the business. And Zach, we have an exit question we ask all our guests, and that is, who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? <laughs> so um, I always, my, my favorite hero since I was reading from a kid was Nikola Tesla. So really the founder of modern technology. So for those who are not familiar with Nikola Tesla with a K, um, he was Serbian, uh, born really a long time ago, over a hundred years ago. Um, and he was the founder of modern alternating current technology and induction motor technology and really radio waves and remote control. So basically everything that's driving all technology components that are even allowing us to support this podcast, you could argue started with the inventions that Nikola Tesla created. And so every time I flip a light switch on or turn on my phone, I kind of give a little nod to Nikola Tesla because I don't believe that we'd have any of these technology components or even modern electricity and internet had Nikola Tesla not gone and built all the cra- things that people once called crazy and now we call common practice. And lastly, Zach, how can somebody contact you? Um, so Fispan, you can find us on LinkedIn. If you search Fispan, F-I-S-P-A-N, or at our website, www.fispan.com. Um, and we appreciate anyone that wants to reach out and have a conversation. All right. Uh, Zach Manning, Senior Vice President of Revenue at Fispan. Thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate your time. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.